Gazers, please do not forget, I also have a second gaming channel. It's called Chris Marta Gaming Reviews. If you want to go and check this out for yourself right now, there'll be a link in the description below for you to go and check out. Please subscribe and show some support. It'll help me tremendously. Thank you so much, guys. Also, if you are a dedicated subscriber to this channel, please go ahead and click on this bell. It is really important that you do this to be notified of future uploads. Thank you and enjoy the video. What is up, you geezer, blow tight geezers? It is Chris Marder Games here, and welcome to part three of this new Overwatch related series called Overwatch Diaries. I did do a Overwatch Diaries episode two just the other day. I recorded it and sort of kept on track of everything that I've done. So now we're going to be doing two Zarya games in this video. We're going to be, uh, there's two more Zarya games. I did uh, two Zarya games at the beginning of the series, which I was doing, I believe one of them was on King's Row, uh, and the second one was on Hanamura. So in this one, we're doing an attack on Dorado, and the second game is going to be the defending of Numbani. So some really, really good games in this one, actually. Um, now, the first one we're going to be looking at in this one is uh, we're going to be on Dorado. We're attacking Dorado. Now, this is a game that... We started actually very, very well. Um, the the team, the defending team was kind of lacking in, in terms of team build or team morale. But then right at the end, it kind of got a little bit off track in terms of us. But we managed to uh, pull it together and we managed to uh, get the win. So I'm going to press the play button right now and just show you exactly what happens. So, well, we don't have a healer, I don't think. I'm not sure if we have a healer to start off with, although we do have Soldier 76 because he has his um, healing ability, doesn't he? Where he drops down that uh, um, that ability thing that he uses. I can't remember what it's called, but um, yeah, it's yeah. So we don't really have a healer now. Dorado is again one of those maps where uh, it can be it can be a bit treacherous sometimes. I mean. When you're when you're defending this map, um, it's very advisable that you don't go straight up to the the spawn and try and killing them because when you die, you know it's a long way to get from the spawn from your spawn all the way back to where they are. So it's kind of it's kind of a death wish defending right on the on the on the uh, the first spawn, the attacking spawn. So the best thing to do, especially when you're in competitive, is Defend them at the choke point because if you defend them right on the beginning, you kind of get you kind of get a little bit of problems. So as you can see, that I killed the maid to start off with, um, and this is what, this is what I have to do with Zarya is that I still feel that as a sort of a a, a raw Zarya player, I still find it very difficult to drop the shields down um, because sometimes when I shield an uh, an ally, I assume that they're going to actually shoot that ally. But unfortunately, they don't, and you know I don't get that many that much charge, which means I'm a bit vulnerable. So, especially when I have both the shields down and, and all that to begin with. So earlier just now, as you just saw there, I almost got killed by the junk rat. So as I as I had low health, I went around the underpass, got to Soldier 76's heal health area, then I killed the junk. Well, someone else kills the junk rat, but I kind of like uh, helping the assist of the elimination, and. Yeah, we just literally melt these guys down. I get a little bit of charge by shielding myself. I get rid of the Genji, I believe. Yeah, we got rid of the Genji. Uh, and then got rid of the Mercy, which is really important. Because uh, when she when she gets her ultimate, you know, watch out. Because she starts to resurrect everyone. And then you're really in trouble. But, um, like, as to start to begin with, it's very, very straightforward. We really bossed the issue here. Um, so, like I said, as, I was, as you just saw there, I tried to shield... I believe it was Hanzo that I tried to get to get because um, I thought May was trying to gonna maybe kill her, but uh, kill him, but I guess not. So I killed the junk rat. I try again. I try to shield the tracer because I assume people are gonna shoot at her, but, which they don't. Um, I I get rid of the mercy, which again is really important because you don't want mercy around, otherwise she'll start healing. Um, but yeah, it's just all a case. So they, as, as a prime example, so there I was trying to shield Hanzo because I was assuming that 
May was going to try and get the Hanzo, but obviously not. So, but like I said, we are literally bossing it right now. We are just literally, it's an easy payload push. It's almost as if we are literally just going to make easy of it. Um, again, now I try to shield the, the, the tracer there because I think maybe she might get some shield. I might get some shield. Uh, shield? You mean charge? <laughs> that That's um, that's the whole idea of this. So I get a little bit of charge by shielding myself, going in straight in, trying to get the, the Genji. Um, and we're at seven minutes. We've literally pushed them back remarkably. But I think this is the section around this, around this point here where we kind of struggle a little bit. Uh, so, yeah. I cannot stress enough, guys. That's, that's my first death in the game, by the way, <laughs> with that Jungrat ultimate. I cannot stress enough, guys. When you try to make a push on a payload, don't trickle in. This the same applies to points, uh, the control points. The same applies to assaults, the assault maps with, um, you know, Volskaya and, and Hanamura and, and Temple of Anubis. Anything applies. Do not trickle in. Because if you trickle in, it's a massive advantage to the other team because you're just literally playing the hands of the defense. So, I'm using my... I just used my ultimate there. Try to get some guys there, but I, I, I fail a little bit. I get a little bit of charge by shielding myself. I managed to melt the D.Va because D.Va is pretty useless in her mech. Because, um... Well, when, when D.Va doesn't have her mech, she's, she's just useless. She's literally... She's literally a squishy hero for anybody when she's out of her mech. Um, so there's a... I've got 10 eliminations and 2 deaths, which is pretty damn good. Um, but the problem is, we're not pushing the payload. We're, we're kind of struggling here at this point. Um, because we... I mean... If if you don't have... If you're like the last two people in, in your... In your push, you should either just die... Or fall back, because this, this is this is this is the uh, prime example of me trying to group up with everyone because I needed, I needed everyone to sort of like keep in sync with each with each other. If you're the only one that's alive in a push, either fall back or just die, because that it really does help if you do that. Because if you keep doing, if you just keep trickling in, you're just gonna die. Everyone's gonna be out of sync, and you're just not gonna make any push. So this is this is just me. I'm probably gonna I need to listen to my own advice. Because I play these games and I don't do this sort of thing, and this is this is the reason why I struggle. So, <coughs> uh, so what I'm do what am I doing here? So, I think I kind of struggle here. So Diva tries to try and get me. Oh yeah, this is it. I try. I get. I managed to get Diva out of her mech, but the the problem is I don't get the Diva because you know Mercy's there to sort of help her out, and uh, well I I'm completely vulnerable because I don't have my shield available and then I die. Um, and yeah, it's a bit of a problem there. But, we do have three guys in the payload at the current time. And it won't be that long until, uh, we get to a, we get to an air, a time in the game where I literally boss the issue. So, uh, let's see now. I'm just, uh, do I wait for any people to, to group up with, or do I just go in? Yeah, I, I really should have just waited for my other teammates. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't, I don't know why I, don't know why I did that. Uh, okay, so I so there you go. I think there's tracer still in there, so I shield the tracer. Um, now th there is a point in this game where Diva uses her ultimate, and I kind of use it as a way of getting some charge. You'll see that in a minute. So Diva heads back. Yeah, there you go. Diva uses her ultimate. I shield myself, get a bit of charge from that uh, ultimate, and then I try to do some work on the Diva, get rid of her, get her out of her mech. Then I get some charge. I get a little bit more charge here. Then I drop my ultimate down. But the problem is, I, my problem is, I just, I just kept missing with my charges. I, that was that was unfortunate. But I did manage to kill the diva, uh, just not in the way that I wanted to, basically. So here I am, literally just bossing the issue. I'm just taking taking the game by the scruff of the neck, and this is a really good little play from me here. Um, so, the first thing I do is I get rid of the Mercy, because, you know, we need to get rid of that Mercy, otherwise she'll start rezzing. Um, uh, Roadhog hooks me, I shield, get some charge off him, get rid of the Roadhog. And then, there's a little diva there trying to get rid of her, get rid of her, because she's completely useless. Way there she goes. And, 
There you go, game one. And uh, yeah, fantastic. And even better than that, wait for it. I get play of the game. Get in, my son. Yes, there you go. So let's have a look at that again. Roadhog hooks me. I shield to get some charge. And I literally just melt the Roadhog because, you know, actually Zai is pretty a good counter to Roadhog. Um, and then Ogre Diva, way. <laughs> and there you go. That's the end of that game. So overall, if I can just pause it right there. Overall, I think this game was really fun. It only lasted seven minutes. Um, at the beginning, it was an easy ride. It's an easy ride, getting rid of everyone. And then right at the end, it's kind of got a bit... It started to get a little bit problematic, you know, in terms of people dying and not syncing up and not grouping up. But we managed to seize the initiative. And, well, Zarya is a really strong hero in the game. I really like using Zarya. And what you'll see later on is the next game, which is Numbani, where we're defending. And it is a really, really good game. I really enjoyed that game. Very, very tense. I felt like... I felt like we were going to lose that game, but what's going to happen in that game? Well, you'll find out right after this little short break. So I'll see you in a minute. See you later. Okay, guys. So this is the second game we're going to be taking a look at. And like I said, we are defending on Numbani. Now then, this is... Remember what I said about the last video, the last Overwatch Diaries video, where I said that I, we were defending and it was a really intense game? Well, this is it, guys. This is the game that I want to show you. This was an awesome game. This is like, this is actually one of my... It was one of the best games I've played. It felt like a competitive match. However, it also felt really, really... Like, I was feeling it. Like, my heart was wrenching. It was, my heart was beating so vigorously because I really thought we were going to lose. I mean... Well, I'll show you. Let's just press the play button. Um, so... This game is really, really fun. Really, really good fun, this game. And... I get a lot of really good and vital kills in this um, as the uh, attacking team are, are defending the, the point. So, i got to be honest, Numbani is one of my favourite maps uh, because I like the art style of this. I like the... Oh, I want to see this showing this coming up. Hello, May. <laughs> oh, May. I love May. She's so sweet. Oh, I love May so much. Anyway, so basically what we're going to do is just show you exactly what happens. So, yeah, like I said, I, I, I do some really, really good work in this very early stage of the game. I, I get some very, very vital kills. Um, I do some really good shielding, really good shielding of myself and my allies. And uh, I'm going to show you exactly what happens. We could have almost... We could have even won the game just by defending this point. But it, they, they managed to do it almost... Right at the last second. So, the main objective here is just to literally get charged. That's the main objective when you're playing Zarya. It's always about the charge. Shielding your teammates, shielding yourself, getting that charge so that you can do work. So, yeah, this is exactly what I'm doing. Just shielding, just throwing those um, those charges in there. Reinhardt is a real, real annoyance when you're Zarya because you just never know when he's coming. Because Zarya is such a slow character, you just don't... You just never know when he's going to turn up. So, as you just saw there, I shielded Soldier, got a bit of charge. Reinhardt charges, completely misses me. I charge myself, get some charge, kill the Soldier, which was really vital as well. And just keep just keep spamming those charges in. Those, um... I'm just going to call them charges. I keep forgetting forget what they're called. So, go in there. And McCree tries to stun me. Not getting any... Not going not gonna to do that to me, so I completely get rid of him. Now... Anna was a pain. A real pain as well. So Anna and Reinhardt, real pains when you Zarya because you could be literally on your game. You can be like in the zone and Anna just turns up and just, just sleeps you. Like she did that twice and she was able to bring me down as well. But if it hadn't been for the Mercy player, again, this is what I was saying about um, in the last video. This, this Mercy player that I was playing with amazing mercy player she was rezzing everybody um so as you see there i get rid of mccree again and literally i'm just doing work i'm literally dominating the attack i'm making everybody my bitch um and this is this is this is a rare seeing 
a rare viewing for me just to look at me just dominating because I never get a chance to do as good as this. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I, I dominate McCree and Junkrat, which is really, really good because McCree is a bit of an annoying character. McCree and, and uh, Junkrat, as far as Zai is concerned, they're both squishy heroes and you can get rid of those quite quite comfortably. You know, if you're doing if you're doing the right thing. Um, what I've noticed with Zarya as well is that you always have to make sure you've got somebody in front of you. Um, just so that you can shield them and protect them so that you can get charged. And when they're shooting at them, you get that charge. And then when you then you go you, then you yourself go forward. Then you shield yourself. Then you get plenty of charge. And then you can just mow everybody down. Um, so this is the, this is the sort of area that I sort of worked around in. Um, and then once again, um, get rid of the soldier. <laughs> yeah, get rid of the soldier, boy. Um, now, what you'll see in a minute is that um, Anna charges up the McCree. Um, and then I use McCree's charge to sort of shield myself, get more charge. But unfortunately, fucking Reinhardt pins me down. But I'm still in the game. I'm still in the game. I managed to shield Reinhardt. Look at the charge I've got here. I've st I'm still kind of... Like, I've still got the shields on. I'm, I'm still alive. I'm still in there. But I really need to sort of get a bit more charged because it's going down a little bit. And there, uh, yeah, Soldier uses his ultimate to, to mow me down. So, yeah, that's the whole idea of using Zarya is that you've got to make sure that somebody's in front of you so that you can shield them. So then they get... They can do some work and then it goads the, the attacking team on to try and shoot them. So then you get charge. Maybe that's what I need to do a little bit more of when I'm playing Zarya. I need to do that more more often. Um, but, like I said, I think that the um, the capture the flag game mode, even though I hate it so much because I'm terrible at it, it's, all, it's a very good way of practicing with heroes. Because I've practiced on the capture the flag game mode with McCree and Junkrat. And by doing that alone... I've been able to understand the way Junkrat and McCree work. Um, obviously, McCree is more of a, a defensive, but attacking DPS. Whereas Junkrat is almost just a, just spam your grenades in and see if you can get something. Um, but the problem is, according to Stylosis, McCree and Junkrat are the two worst heroes in the game. Because their ultimates aren't very strong. I mean, you've got, uh, you got McCree, who has the um, High Noon. And he's completely vulnerable. If, if you use that and you're on the high ground, even when you're on the high ground, you're still vulnerable. You're literally still vulnerable when you use High Noon. Whereas Junkrat's uh, Riptire, when you use that, you know, anybody can shoot that. Anybody can literally just go, when the, well, they notice it and then they just, well, you know, kill it off. But anyway, going back to this, uh, yeah, as you can see there, we are literally, on, we are literally borderline almost a available to there we're almost about to defend the point here but god these bloody bastards just keep coming back don't they i'm still in there but unfortunately i got killed by the tracer um but then it was like at this at this point i was thinking come on come on just stay on the point fend them off please but uh it was really unfortunate because over time they they eventually managed to get the point which was really, really, really... I was really fucking frustrated at this point. Because I was thinking, oh god damn it. We, we've done all this work. We've been able to do all of this. And they've managed to take the point. And I just got so frustrated. So, what did I decide to do? Well, I decided to work around this area. I used I used May. May was a really good player as well, by the way. Whoever was this May guy. This May player was very good as well. Um, but, I've got to say, I had to... Well, I think I remember voting for Mercy at the end of this. I'm not sure. Um, so, I literally used my my shield here. Tried to try to do my best. I shield the May again. Get that get get rid of that Anna. That's yeah, that's right. Get rid of the Anna. The Anna is important to get rid of because because Anna heals and you know keeps the keeps the guy alive. So as long as you get rid of her, you're set. You're, you're fine. But uh, I don't know if I die here. Do I die here? I'm not sure. Yeah, I die here, which is unfortunate because I had a lot of charge, um, and it, well, I was I was I was trying my best. I was frustrated at that point, 
So I thought, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my, I'm gonna keep my cool and try and get rid. But look at that. There's four guys in the payload. They are literally walking it. They're literally walking. It. I was at this point. I was just thinking, really? Are, are you serious? We've done all this work trying to defend them at the first point. Now they're just gonna walk it. They're just gonna literally walk it. So what did I do? I go in there. I use my shield again. I get a bit of charge from Reinhardt's um, fire strike. And you know, somebody at this point, I'm thinking, you know, I've got to do something. So I just literally walk up to the enemy Reinhardt and I try and just drill him down. But and then there's the then there's the Anna there. I just dispose of her because she's the only one on the payload. And if if I hadn't have got to the Anna, I think she would have been able to push that payload to the to the checkpoint, and then we would have had to defend her, them a bit more, um, which was. Which was good. It, it, I'm, I'm glad that I was able to, to, to spot that Anna. Otherwise, we'd have really been in trouble. Um, so it's just literally... It, it's just literally all about... That's what I should have done. I should have, I should have shielded the Reinhardt as he went through. That's what I should have done. I may, I may have... Should have done that, possibly. I'm not sure, but... Um, yeah, that, that's definitely what I should have done. So there's a junk rat trying to get me there. Um... Actually, did I, I think he gets me, I think. I think he actually gets me. Oh, no. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Or does Mercy Res? Does Mercy Res? I'm not sure. Oh, no. Mercy dies, unfortunately. So, yeah. Katie. Katie Lerman. I don't know if you... I don't know if you... If I first said that correctly. But Katie Lerman. Yeah, Katie Lerman. What a... What a Mercy player. She she was literally... Res like, later on in this game, she, she resurrects me. Or the, resurrects the team. A lot, <laughs> a lot. Um, so, the the opposing team managed to get the um, get the payload to the checkpoint, and we've got two minutes. We've got two minutes to to stop them from getting to the port to the goal. So, this is where we hold them. This is the choke point here. This is the um, the other choke point that we that we hold them on. And my God, it goes down like fucking Billio. I tell you this for true. So. As you can see there right at the bottom there, I still have my ultimate. Now, I don't use my ultimate until a little bit later on when Hanzo... Well, I'll find out that Hanzo has his ultimate. I'll show you exactly what happens in a minute. So there you go. There's one of the first resurrections that the Mercy player does. Um, keeps us in the game. Um, I get a little bit of charge there as well. Um, I try and shield the Hanzo, try and get a bit more charge, but I fail to do so. Um... And look at this as well. Just literally just stopping them from getting anywhere near the point, the payload. Um, still got my ultimate. And I want to use that ultimate. I want to use it at the best time. I don't want to just waste it. Because you know, because the thing is, right? I want to use it at the time where the team is grouped up. So that when I put it down, if someone's got their ultimate available, they can just drill them. And you'll, you'll see that a little bit later on. So that, as you can see that I just got the, the Soldier 76. And... I can't, I can't remember how many elimination I've got now. Um, I, th I think that was Genji trying to use his ultimate as well. Um, Tracer's going in. See, there's no point in using my ultimate now because the, 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 the team is not grouped up together. So I think this is where I do it now. Yeah, there you go. I, I use the ultimate. There's about three of them, four of them in there. And then Hanzo uses his ultimate. And oh my god, yes. Yes. But Junkrat uses his ultimate to get rid of it. But then Mercy... Bloody Mercy again uses a res. Oh, God. It's just... It's, it absolutely, was absolutely mental. Brilliant. It's like, it was like four ultimates happening at the same time. But we, we're still in there. We're still stopping the, the opposing team from getting to the payload and moving it. Um, and yeah, it, it's just literally... It felt... This game felt like a competitive game. It felt like a competitive game. Everything worked to... Like every, all the ultimates was just working. Uh, the Mercy's res was working. My ultimate was working. Hanzo's ultimate worked. And then, he, as you can see there, um, uh, Reaper got a couple of kills as well. Really important kills. Got rid of the Anna, uh, which was kind of vital. And then, yeah, that was the end of the game, and it was a, it was a win. So, two games for, with Zarya, two victories, and both of them were really, really good. And like I said, I keep stressing out that Katie Lerman, and yeah, definitely deserved that play of the game. Because she was, well, I don't think, I think it may have been a, a, a girl gamer. But what a res this is. Well, that is a great res. Really, really good res. Kept us in the game, especially after that Junkrat Ultimate.
because that would have completely wiped us out. But thanks to that Mercy player, if that if that res hadn't have happened, I think we would have really struggled at the end. But yeah, really, really, really good game. I I, I really enjoyed playing that, even though it was really, really stress stressed. I was I was stressed out even <laughs> being part of it. But yeah, I, I I definitely definitely enjoyed playing that game, and I I I'm sure that the other players did as well. Um, well, whether they played many other games with like, like this, so I guess it's just sort of just comes naturally to them, I guess. But, you know, for someone like me, who doesn't really play uh, Overwatch as much as these, these competitive players do, um, well, yeah, absolutely. So, so these were two, two um, games that I played with Zarya uh, quite recently. So, if you enjoyed this video, uh, I don't know when the next uh, Overwatch Diaries will be. I think I guess I'll have to record some more stuff and then maybe uh, uh, go through that sort of thing. I don't know if I should do um, Capture the Flag as well as Quick Play. I don't know. I don't know what I should do. Should, what should I do? Should I do? Should I add Capture the Flag to this? I don't know. Just let me know in the comments below if you have watched this. Um, I probably won't get very many views or comments, but you know that's the unfortunate pains of being a YouTuber. A small YouTuber, that is. <laughs> Not like Zoe Burger. Anyway, so with that said, ladies and gentlemen, this has been episode three of Overwatch Diaries. If you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more Overwatch Diaries and more Overwatch in general, then please hit that like button, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at ChrisBond9, check me out my Google, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitch, and of course, my eBay store. And check me out on my VidMe channel, which is Overwatch only at vid.me slash Chris Marder Games. Thank you very much for watching. I have been Chris Marder Games. Have a great day. Have a great life. Be nice to your fellow gamers because we are all human beings. Thank you for watching. Until the next video, I shall see you later. Hey, door. And peace.